Okay folks, in this video we're going to be taking some four basic combinations and using them as counter punch attacks to an attack that you're defending. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so you get all the new tips, techniques, and tactics to help improve your overall striking game. And if you like this video, smash the like button. These four combinations are already covered in our basics, so if you haven't seen the basics yet, I'm going to put it up in a, a link up here in the corner so you can click on that. It's combination 6, 7, 8, and 9. So we'll go over the basic combinations first, and then we'll show you how to do it off the defense. So combination 6, combination 7, combination 8, combination 9. Okay? So three punch combinations, just going right, left, right, and vice versa. Very simple. The only thing we're going to do differently now is Sandy's going to defend an attack and come back. So she defends with her right hand. Right now she's going to throw her right hand, cross, go cross. So that's combination number six. So I'll, as a pad holder, I'll kind of, from my less experienced students, I'll kind of tap them so they know when something's coming, they can get ready to block. To my more advanced students, I'll just hit them. <laughs> so right now I'll give Sandy the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give her a little tap here. She's going to do six. The goal of this is to try and get that first punch off right away. If I throw my hook and my chin's up in the air, Sandy wants to catch me quickly. It doesn't have to be super hard, but she needs to have that, that reflex to get in there right away. It's a quick reaction time we're looking for on that first punch. The next punches can be loaded up a bit more. So here, good. Other side here. So I'm going to have my pad ready to go, but she can throw right away. If I do this and she has to wait, she's lost that ability to throw quickly. So I need to have the glove ready to go for her. Again. Good. Now for eight, I'm going to attack the body and have this ready for the upper press. So my hand's already here, same height as my opponent's shoulders or chin. I don't want to go too high or too low. Right here is a good spot for them. So here, and nine. So you can do that just on its own. Six, seven, eight, nine, just like we did. We'll do it again. Move around a little bit in between. What we can do is part of a drill where I'm just calling different punches to her jab, two, I tap my gloves and she can block and counter. So it's a bit more advanced. You can do it in the midst of your other pad work or you can just do it simple by itself. But it's just a really good way to get used to having punches come at you, blocking them and immediately countering right away without that hesitation. Because it happens all the time in sparring. Someone throws a couple punches, you cover up, you maybe close your eyes and you stop and they're already out of the way before you get a chance to hit them. She throws a jab cross hook at me, I want to be able to come back right away when I see that opening and have that opportunity. And this is one of the best drills to develop that ability to do that. Okay. So that's four combinations, reaction, drill, off the punch, come back with at least three more if you can. Thanks for watching, see you guys in the next video.